In this video, we will see how WebRV can be configured to extract data from listing pages organized under various categories within a website. The most common example of this case are e-commerce websites, where products are classified under various categories and subcategories. If you go to our website and look under the help section, you can see more details regarding the category scraping feature. As you can see, there are two methods described here. Of this, let's see how the first one, the multi-level category scraping feature works. This feature helps you to extract data when there are various levels of category and subcategory pages before we reach the final product listings page. The first step is to load the page which displays the main category links within WebHarvey's internal browser. So in this website, these are the main category links and within each main category, you can see that there are various subcategories. Go to the Actions tab and click on the Select Category Links option. Webavi will then ask you to click on the first category link. Click OK and click on the first main category link. Webavi will now scan the remaining category links. You can see the selected links highlighted and also in the preview area. Click OK and Webavi will load the first link which we clicked. Wait for the first category page to load. Inside this page, you can see that there are more subcategory links. So we repeat the same steps which we did before. Go to the Actions tab and click on Select Category Links. Webavi will ask to click on the first subcategory link on the page and then it will scan the remaining category links and then follow the first subcategory link which we clicked. You can repeat these steps till you reach the final listings page. In this case, we have already reached the final listings page from which we need to start extracting data. So the guideline is that you use the select category links option to keep selecting category links from the home or main category listings page all the way down to the real listings page and then start configuration. In this website, you can see that more products are loaded in the same page as we scroll down. Now we can start configuration. Let's select few details from this page. We can also follow each product link to get more data using the following this link option. But let's keep this configuration simple. So let's proceed with selecting pagination. Since this page loads more products when you scroll down, go to the configurations tab and select scroll to load next page option under pagination pane. Now let's stop configuration. If you go to settings, and open category keyword tab, you can see this option named tag with category keyword. If you enable this option and give a column name, then during mining, Webavi will add an additional column filled with a URL of the product listings page from which the product is extracted. This helps to categorize the products finally you will know from where each product came from. Now let's start mining. Webavi 
will now traverse the entire category tree of the website and extract data listed under various categories. You can see that an extra column has been added filled with the listings page URL. You can also see web how we extracting data from various categories. Now let's see a stripped down version of the same feature. This is the second method explained under category scraping in our website and this feature is called scrape a list of similar links. Let's try an example page. Suppose I need to extract data listed under these links. Here, the difference is that these links point directly to the listings page from which we need to start extracting data. There are no subcategory links in between. So this feature helps to scrape a list of links in a website, all of which point directly to similarly formatted listings. There are two main advantages of using this feature over select category links feature, which we will discuss as we proceed. To configure this, under Action tab, click on the Scrape a list of similar links option. Webhavi will ask you to click on the first link in the list. When you do that, Webhavi will automatically identify all remaining links in the list. You can see them highlighted and also in the preview area. Now you can see that Webhavi is asking us whether we need to select more links. This gives us a chance to manually select any links which were missed by the automatic selection process. This also helps to select links within a page which is not well formatted or where the links are not occurring in pattern. This is one advantage which this method has over the category scraping feature. So if you click yes, Webhavi will ask you to manually click on links which has not been selected and then click on empty space to finish the selection. If you open Webhavi settings and go to category keyword tab, you can see this option called disable automatically identifying category links. When this option is enabled, Webhavi will not attempt to automatically scan links. You will have to manually click and select each link which you need to scrape. This helps if you wish not to scrape all similar links on the page, but only a few selected ones. Since all links have been selected in this page, let's straight away click on empty space. And Webhavi will now load the first link which we clicked. Wait for the page to load and then start configuration. Now we can start selecting required data. To keep this example simple, we are not following links or selecting the next page link, details regarding which are discussed in other videos. Now if you go to the configuration tab and click on URLs, you can see that these are the URLs of the links which we selected in the start page. The second advantage of this feature is that you can manually add more URLs to this configuration here or delete unwanted ones. Now even if you have not selected links before starting configuration, you can click on the URLs button under configuration tab and add URLs of similarly formatted pages to the configuration so that during mining Webhavi will scrape data from all of the added URLs in addition to the original starting page. Again if you go to our website and under the help section if you go to capturing data from multiple pages, you can see this option called manually add URLs of next pages. This explains how you can scrape a list of URLs using a single configuration. Now let's stop configuration and start mining.
During mining, Webavi will load each of the links which we selected and extract data from them. You can also see that the category column has been filled with the category name. We hope you find this video useful and in case you have any questions, please feel free to contact our technical support whose link is given in the video description. Thank you.